Don't you just love the holidays? If you're a foodie like me, you kind of come into your element during this season, don't you? And if you're not a foodie, well, stick with us and see what you're missing. I just love giving gifts, and this time of year, there are just so many opportunities. My girls' teachers, friends at church, my co-workers, my family. And trust me, you just can't go wrong with a gift of food. Like these adorable gingerbread cookies. You can wrap them up fresh out of the oven or decorate them first. You can even give a gift of cookies with a tube of frosting and sprinkles and bring out the kid in all of your friends. Now, all of these gift ideas are available to you online at foodchannel.com, complete with recipes. But I'd love to tell you about some of my favorites. Better yet, though, let me show you. At the Food Channel, we like to let the camera look over the chef's shoulder while our chefs work so you get a first-person perspective on how to do it like this. Let's make some gingerbread men. You can use a prepared dough, or you can find the recipe at foodchannel.com. Unwrap chilled dough. Lightly flour a surface to roll out the dough to about a quarter inch thick. Then simply press cookie cutter into the dough. Repeat the rolling and pressing as needed. Bake the gingerbread cookies at 350 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. Be sure to let cool completely before decorating. Once cooled, you can decorate to your heart's desire, just like we did. Okay, so tasting is part of the fun of the holidays. I said it would bring out the kid in you. Now, speaking of kids, a great foodie gift that you can have that won't cost you a penny is to send the children in your life a link to our favorite holiday story at foodchannel.com. It's called The Night Before Christmas Cookie, and it tells the story of Ella and the tea party that she set up for Santa and his reindeer. It links to some great cookie recipes for the holidays, too. Check it out and enjoy electronically turning the pages of this book destined to become a classic for food lovers. Something else that's a classic is bacon. Yes, I said bacon. It got your attention, didn't it? You know, bacon just makes everything taste better, so we paired it with chocolate for a holiday gift that will certainly stand out in your crowd. Take a look as we show you how to make candied bacon fudge. Here's a classic fudge recipe with a trendy twist of candied bacon. You can find the complete recipe at foodchannel.com. Generously coat 10 strips of bacon with brown sugar. Stick in a cold oven and then turn the temperature to 350 degrees. Bake for about 20 to 30 minutes as this will caramelize the bacon for a salty, sweet goodness.
The fudge consists of butter, sugar, and evaporated milk. It's all melted together and brought up to the critical temperature point of 234 degrees. Be sure to stir constantly. Turn off the heat or move if using electric. Next, add the vanilla, chocolate, and marshmallow cream. To assemble, start with the candied bacon, two at a time, topping with fudge, layering as you go. Think like lasagna. Now it's time to chill. It needs at least one hour in the refrigerator. Unwrap carefully, slice, and serve up to friends, but be sure to stash some away for yourself. <laughs> Next time, more recipes. How does brown sugar bark with a brandied cherry sauce strike you? Easy and delicious spiced pecans, and a foodie find that beats your typical gift wrap any day. Stay tuned.